Yeah, awesome. Uh, hi everyone, thanks Eugene. Well, I'm Marco, here is Murad and Guillermo, and we are here to introduce you to Brevo. Brevo is a mobile app that allows you to see which ones of your friends are around and uh, up to hang out with you, and what, uh, what are the activities that they uh, organized uh, uh, nearby. So Brevo focuses on coordination of everyday events, such as uh, dinner, workout plans, or movie plans, uh, that nowadays are organized through messaging apps. Okay, so Brevo introduces new features such as a dashboard for social discovery. Think of a news feed like the one uh, in Facebook, but just for social plans. Uh, in the in the future, we actually aim at become uh, more of a mint for a social for your social uh, uh, coordination in the sense that we will uh, use your um, information about uh, how, which friend you hang out with and what you like to organize to make tailored recommendations to you on what's the best way to hang out with your friends. <coughs> so imagine that now these meetings uh, finishes early there, earlier than you would expect. So you, you have a free night and you want to hang out with your friends, right? So what would you do is you actually take your two, three closest friends, you start calling them or texting them, you know. Or if you really want to go out, you start, you, you start, start spamming on some of those like uh, group chats to see who's uh, up to, to hang out. If you really want to wanna go out, you would even maybe post it on Facebook, but usually we use you know, our Facebook wall for more important events like, I don't know, a birthday party or a farewell party. Uh, this is where Bravo comes in. Let me show you how it works. Okay, awesome. So this is uh, our homepage. You can see uh, in the two tabs here uh, who of your friends uh, is up to hang out, either now or uh, later, uh, later in the future, and also what are kind of activities they've organized, uh, <laughs> they've organized, they've organized uh, around you. Uh, here we have five ma main icons that represent uh, sport, drink, food, coffee, and a giraffe, which we use for every other kind of activity. And here you can set a status to, to show your friends. Say, for example, that you right now you want to play, I don't know, squash. You just say, for example, down for squash. We set the sport icon. And then you can decide uh, to whom to show this, uh, this availability of yourself. So you can either make it available to uh, the whole world, let's say, to only your friends. And you can also have some groups that you can use to, uh, you know, to make this selection quicker. Actually, you have a squash team, so I'll just add them. And I'll set my status, and all of my friends uh, that are in this coach team will see that I'm available for, for this activity. You can also set up uh, an availability for the future. Let's say right now I, I think that maybe this weekend I want to go to, to Big Sur for a hike. So I just provide an availability, an availability for uh, the future rather than, uh, rather than for now. Uh, here in this home page, on top of seeing you know, uh, who's available to, to hang out, you can see what kind of activities are uh, being organized by your friend. You can use some of the filters. For example, you know, you want to see who's organizing uh, food today. Right now, what you have to do, you actually have to proactively reach out to your friends. While if you just want to have uh, access to your broader group of friends, in this way, you'll see what your friends uh, are actually doing. And so you can reach out to them directly. When you know that they're doing something you would be interested in, too. So, for example, I don't know, tomorrow I want to see uh, who's up for uh, after dinner for drinks or something? I can just go here and see that some people tomorrow a drink. You can um, you can just go in and see you know that there are some people organizing this, and you can see all details on location and and stuff like that. Uh, Brevo also syncs with your uh, with all your calendars, so with uh, Outlook, uh, Google Calendar, iCal, Exchange, everything. So you can uh, directly have a quick snap of your of your agenda on the on the right, so you can see when you actually have the free times if you want to check very quickly. On top of pulling in all of your events from your calendar, Brevo also pushes all of your all of the activities you organize uh, uh, through Brevo in your in your calendar. So you select which calendars you want to have. So uh, here we also have you know a menu for organizing all of your settings and a quick snap of which one of the activities coming forward. And you can I can show you just how easy you can set up an event. You can just See which one of your friends are online, the one offline, you can go through contacts. You have your groups, so you can just decide, oh, maybe I want to organize a brunch uh, this weekend. I'm just going to add these two groups. I'm just going to say, 
branch, I'll say bring beer. No. <laughs> People shop enough. Bring beer. <laughs> and I just see yeah. up. Uh, maybe you see it here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> maybe to. Oh, I actually said PM. <laughs> That's too too much. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then let's go maybe uh, to five. <coughs> and this is just uh, you know sent to all of all of the friends, and there is gonna appear in their they're gonna receive an invitation, and it's gonna appear on your on their um, on their news feed here. So that's actually a great. Place to stop and ask questions. Yeah, let's give first Bob a round of applause. Where, where are the friends coming on on this app? Oh uh, yeah, so uh, this app is connected to Facebook, so you have all of your Facebook friends. You can uh, also there is a toggle button, so you can actually see all of the people who have signed up to to Bravo in the world, or you can just decide to see your uh, your Facebook friend. The, as you've seen, when you want to uh, provide any information in terms of either your availability to hang out or creating a event, there's a very flexible way you can decide who's going to see this information, right? Okay. And, and, and that event actually gets published on Facebook to our friends? Uh, you, when you organize an activity, you can certainly decide that you want to also uh, post on Facebook. Otherwise, if you decide not to, that's just going to go into the news feed, uh, which you have just seen. Yes? Do you have any kind of filters because you know a lot of Facebook friends are not actually your friends. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, for example, if uh, I will organize a party and uh, like tons of people will show up that I don't even know. Yeah, exactly. This is actually awkward. How are you gonna filter them? I mean, I'm, I'm up to girls, but you know, when there is a kind of inner party, that's too much, right? Yeah. So, how are you gonna solve this problem? So actually, it's exactly why we built Prevo. So you would never, as Mark was pointing out earlier, what you were saying, post, like, if you do a party, you don't want all of your college friends to come in. You just want your buddies and the hot chicks on campus. <laughs> okay? So you will be able to tailor your audience. So as Mark was showing up earlier, if you have a group of friends you hang out with, you just put the 30 people out there that you want to hang out with, and maybe the groups of 50 people who you want, you're open to have them join. So only these 80 people will so see you it. you choose them before you will put... Exactly, them. yep. Okay. And it will only show up on their feed, so it will not show up on anyone else's feed. Okay, thank you. Um, question for me. Uh, actually, a lot of apps uh, have tried to solve this problem, but they failed. Uh, what do you think you guys are doing differently that is going to set you up for success? So I think that <coughs> we have two main differences versus what other people actually are still doing or have done in the past and I'm sure will do in the future. The one big difference we have is first we have no chat. So the way all of the app has been designed is that you have all of the information you need to make an informed decision to join this plan or not. So you'll see the invite, I'll see that Mark invited me, Guy, and Sabina and John is going to, it's at this place, it seems through a Google map, and I will swipe right or left to go or not. And that will go, go into my calendar. So trying to avoid all of that back and forth, and all of, a lot of the other people has been including chat, and for now we're making a big assumption we're not having that. The second point, I think for we're different from other people, we don't focus on right now only, we have a more of a medium term view. So the probability that you'll find a friend of yours who's available now, who's next to you, you want to do the same thing, is quite low, right? But if you think of next weekend, I'm like, I don't know, if you take your example, I'm down to go to Big Sur for hiking. I'll put it out there, like, Mark will see Murad is down for hiking next Saturday, he'll see it on a Wednesday, I was like, oh, me too, actually, I'll join him. And Guy will see it on a Thursday, and he'll join me, and then we'll go. This kind of diffuses that problem of having, like, we have to hang out right now with people, but push it more in the future and make the people, it's like stalking what's going on, it's like, oh, I'll join this and this and I'll do it. If I can add, if I can add one, one other thing is that many people have uh, focused on, uh, let's organize something, so it's an app that only allows you to organize with some people, while, while, whereas we 
uh, if I, maybe I can organize something a beer with you, but make it available to other 10 people. So that we, we're going to do it anyway, but all of the other people can see that we're going to do it. So it doesn't have to be, so there is a higher probability that someone else is going gonna, is gonna to make this happen, right? Uh, because usually this kind of app fail because the probability of all of these events happening together is really low. And that's why we're trying to, to solve this problem. Awesome. Well, that's actually all the time. And you guys will stick around and answer any questions. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.